Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. It was pretty much one thing for Dick Clark to give a new band a break, but it's quite a different story when a scrappy sitcom like WKRP in Cincinnati suddenly becomes the pulse of culture. But that's exactly what happened when this quirky series ended up taking off to become a classic hit. The audiences who were watching were listening just as closely to the songs that the show was spinning. That's how WKRP helped bands like Blondie, Devo, and The Cars become as big as they are in pop history today. There's not really anything else in the history of TV that's quite like this show. It ran on hilarious personalities, just like a radio show would. It also pulled off great sight gags, funny situations that drew laughs for every single scheme that the show dreamed up. One thing that really helped it was the series had a tremendously talented cast who were able to help the creator, Hugh Wilson, to expand on these given characters. By developing these characters, that's how the show went on to embrace more serious themes. The show being created by Hugh Wilson was based on his experiences working in advertising sales at a top 40 radio station in Atlanta. And this station included a lot of the characters that you see on the show. Wilson once told that he selected the call letters WKRP as the call sign because he wanted it to stand for CRAP, C-R-A-P. The ensemble cast consisted of Gary Sandy, Howard Hessman, Gordon Jump, Lonnie Anderson, Tim Reed, Jan Smithers, Richard Sanders, and Frank Bonner. Starting in the middle of the second season, CBS repeatedly moved the show around its schedule, contributing all along to lower ratings and its eventual cancellation. When the series went into syndication, it became an unexpected success. For the next decade, it was one of the most popular sitcoms in syndication, outperforming many programs that had been more successful in their primetime slots. When Andy Travis arrives, his first item of business is to change WKRP to a rock and roll format. On the show, Andy knows his stuff, and he easily sells the big guy on his idea. This aspect of the character is based on a real program director named Mickle Harrington. He's considered an innovator in radio, and he was also a walking almanac of rock and roll. The character of Dr. Johnny Fever was also based on a real radio personality, that of Atlanta DJ Skinny Bob Harper, who was famous for giving the morning moo cow report. The series creator also patterned the characters off some of his own family members. Bailey Quarters was actually based on his wife, a woman who was shy and often spoke barely above a whisper, but always knew how to speak up when it really counted. When the show auditioned for its cast members, the role of Dr. Johnny Fever originally went to the Partridge family's David Cassidy, but this pop idol ended up turning the part down. Of course, the role ultimately went to Howard Hessman. Les wears a bandage in every episode because of a real injury in the first episode. While airing the two-part pilot, the actor who played Les Nessman, Richard Sanders, legitimately cut his finger and wound up wearing a bandage on the air. After that, he then decided to make that an aspect of his character. So every episode finds a reason to bandage up good old Les. When the show premiered, radio DJs from all over the country were completely jazzed about having the show hit the airways because they loved the idea of a show 
that portrayed sides of the industry that you never saw. They all became such big fans that they would send in bumper stickers, posters, and other swag that was used to decorate the walls in the TV radio station studio. There's a famous line from the show in a second season episode called Put Up or Shut Up, where Venus Flytrap tells Herb, who wears an abundance of tacky-looking suits over and over again, Venus ends up saying to him, somewhere out there, there's a Volkswagen with no seat covers. Apparently, the story is that Herb really did wear a suit on the show that was made out of Volkswagen seat covers. The theme song for WKRP is an unbelievably ear-catching tune that in many ways served as the show's hook. Hugh Wilson, the show's creator, penned the catchy lyrics himself, which that song alone, Living on the Air in Cincinnati, caused many viewers to tune in just to hear it. The series had a second theme song that played at the very end. This song had none of the intro's poetry, with lyrics that were pure gibberish and written on the fly, intended to be replaced later. Instead, Wilson thought it was a great joke in itself about how rock lyrics never made any sense at all. So he left the lyrics as they were. Now the lovely Lonnie Anderson was the highlight of the show. Viewers tuned in just to see her beautiful face and long blonde hair. She started acting when she was 10 years old doing musical theater. And as she grew up, she was a brunette. And as time went on, she was always cast in exotic parts. She played a Native American, she played an Italian, but never the type character that she is in this show. Whatever ethnic group was called for in a show or a movie, that was her. That's hard to believe nowadays, knowing what she looks like now. When she was offered the role on WKRP, she chose to do it as a blonde because creator Hugh Wilson said he wanted someone that looked like Lana Turner, but was the absolute smartest person in the room. At that time on TV, nobody sexy was smart. Nobody glamorous was smart, especially in comedy shows. After she did away with the brunette look, her serious actress life took off full steam and it allowed her to play completely different roles. She looked basically like a totally different person. Even her daughter teases her about the time that she had black hair and how different she looks nowadays. We'll always remember Lonnie Anderson as a blonde. Take a look at this great sitcom. It's a fun one to watch. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.